Hello everybody, my name is Anjan Tekta Chan. In this video, I'm going to talk about my experience on the Microsoft Certification Renewal Assessment. Now, if you don't know about the Renewal Assessment, I know some of you watch YouTube and know about the Renewal Assessment, so I'm going to refresh your, your memory on how this works. Now, last year, December, the Microsoft Certification Renewal Assessment is a test your skills, your knowledge and experience based on your account certificates. Now, if you ever got associate level or expert level, we know it's a two year certification. So instead of sitting exams again for another two years, so Microsoft come this assessment test. It's quite tricky. But it's worth doing and it's free and it takes place in March 2021 which is as of this video a few months ago so I'm going to show you the renewal so I'm going to click on here so I'm eligible to renew as you see here I already got 500 and something days because I've read it because I have already done it so how this works here is you do a test. Now, if you got six months on your certification left, so you got to renew it within six months, you do a test. The test is free. You extend for another year. If you didn't pass, you can do your, know your materials. Now, if you fail the first time, you do a second attempt straight away. And if you, if you fail second time, you do retake every 24 hours. That's every day. It's 45 minutes long. The questions are depends on your skill set. I had, me, I had about 25 questions. But it could be varies on, depends on your certificate you got. Right here is the materials to learn. I've already done the study. See? So I'll click on more. So I've done all the studies I did. Now, when I passed it, the test is very tricky, a bit hard, but it's worth it. And my advice to people who's doing this test, I do every three days. Practice every three days. You can do two days, but I say three days. That way, you know your stuff and you can refresh your mind, your memory and your skills. You got plenty of time to redo the test. You got six months to do it. And if you manage to pass it, you gain an extra year. That's right, an extra year. It's worth it. An extra year. That's why I got 517 days here because I've done my test. I've done a few attempts. I managed to done it. And I had an email right here. Congrats on renewing. So once you manage to pass your test, you get this email. The passing score is 72%. So unlike the MCP exams, Microsoft Certified Professional is 700 points. This is actually 72%. So if you fail, you get like a feedback score, like if what you're good at, what you're bad at, just like the real test. Same thing on here. When you pass, I get another year. See, another year. And on your certificate year, it says valid until 30th of September 2021. It's now 2022 on my email. So now, valid until October. It was meant to be 30th, but October because extra day because of my assessment test rule. So it's good. Now, my experience is like. Okay, yeah, it's a good test. Key, I spend time just about a week, day, day to practicing, a week of practicing. When I pass it, I'm like, yes, another year. So now I can relax for another year. I was about to take my certificate off the wall because I said to myself, well, it expires, it served its purpose. I have no plan renewing it. But when I done this assessment test, I decided to keep it on the wall for another year. The best part of this now is annually, every year. So 
you're saving your money. This is the best way of doing it. This way, this will keep your certifications up to date. Please ne let me know what you think of this renewal assessment. To me, my opinion, this is the best way forward because I don't need to think what about spending more money on and practicing and receiving exams again for another two years. This is free. It's worth it. Let me know what you think of it. Have you experienced it? Have you done it? If you, if you managed to pass it and get another year, then congratulations to you guys. Anyway, and Chen out.